and or in between, and or and in between. Simple words, but are very important in moving forward and dealing with compound inequality. So let's take a look at these closer. Whenever you've got an and statement, all things must be true. This is true, and this is true. So for example, let's think of some things that make this statement true. x is greater than 3, and x is less than 7. So go ahead and think of a number that's greater than 3 and less than 7. Well, I know that 4 is greater than 3 and less than 7. 5 is greater than 3 and less than 7. 6 is greater than 3 and less than 7. There's lots of different numbers that fit in between there, but 2 is less than 7, but it's not greater than 3. So 2 can get canceled off. What about, let's say, 9? Nine? 9 is greater than 3, but it's not less than 7. So, that'll get canceled out. So whenever you have an and, you're thinking of what makes all things true. For or statements, either one can be true. So, let's take a look at this. How about x is less than or equal to negative 2, or x is greater than 3? In this case, let's think of some numbers that are either less than negative 2 or greater than 3. How about 6? Is 6 less than or equal to negative 2? No, but it is greater than 3. So 6 is true. What about negative 20? Well, negative 20 is less than or equal to negative 2. So even though it's not greater than 3, since it's an or, this is still also true. What about negative 2? Negative 2 is less than or equal to negative 2. That's true. So even, even though it's not greater than 3, still, this is true. Okay, what if we said 0? What about 0? Is 0 less than or equal to negative 2? No. Is 0 greater than 3? No. So 0 is not included in this solution. So whenever you have an or, either this one has to be true or this one has to be true. Lastly, in between just means, well, in between. Pretty simple, but there is kind of a fancy way that people like to write these numbers. For example, here if I had 3 is less than x is less than 9... This could also read that x is in between 3 and 9. x is in between 3 and 9. You see x is greater than 3 and x is less than 9. x is in between 3 and 9. So think of numbers in between 3 and 9. Pretty simple, right? 4, 5, 7, 8. Any number in between 3 and 9 would make this statement true. Just because we haven't done solving with one of these in-between types of four. I just wanted to do a quick example. Here we have x minus 6 is in between negative 5 and 12, where negative 5 is less than or equal to x minus 6 is less than 12. You solve these just like normal, so focus in on this x minus 6. If we want to get x by itself, we have to add 6. Now this is the difference with these types. We also want to add 6 to the left side, and we want to add 6 to the right side. So whatever you do in the middle, you have to do to both sides of the inequality. That's going to leave us with 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 18. Or we could read this x is in between 1 and 18.